Here we go, back on the getaway. That's so cool. I love being in between two big ships. Yeah, it's just rival groups, you know? We should throw fruit over there. <laughs> just to mess with them. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous. We are sailing, and this is our view. Standing out on our balcony, we are sailing from Cozumel to Grand Cayman. Yes. It is absolutely gorgeous. The weather could not be any better. No way. I mean, the, it, the water's stunning. The sun is, the sun is getting ready to go down. Beautiful. It's about 5.15. We've got dinner in about half an hour. We're dressed and ready early. Can you believe that? We're dressed and clean and ready to go for some uh, first time at Ocean Blue. Yes. Excited about Ocean Blue. This will be our first time there. We had some uh, people that are in the group that have eaten there already, and uh, they said, man, it's really good. So yeah. They said, well, more than likely, like a lot. And I've heard nothing but good things, so I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, I wanted to try something new. So this is our new one on this ship, and then we've got La Bistro and Teppanyaki later this week. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go get some dinner. This is just so pretty. I always like to look down here. But we are up here on deck eight and we are here for our reservation at Ocean Blue for 5.45. Well, we'll sit across from them, so. Hi guys! How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Oh, I see crab cake. That's what I'm getting. Oh, it actually has a menu in here too? Yep. The bread has arrived and it is soft and gooey. Soft and gooey. And this bread is flaky and soft and flavorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. April. I know, I'm gonna get some in a minute. Bread. Yay! Hi, girl. <laughs> I've got hey, yeah. gluten free bread. Okay. And it's actually the best gluten free bread I've ever had. It's nice and soft and wonderful. It looks yummy. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us about that stripe on your arm? Stripe on my arm? Sunburn? <laughs> the white stripe? The white stripe? No, what's, what's the, the sunburn from Mr. Sanchez this afternoon? It's a new fad. How about? It's the newest fad, yes. Look, that's that's right. I love it. I have that's rocks. Somebody stripes. forgot the sunscreen. Oh, yes, I did. I forgot the sunscreen completely. <laughs> So I got the lump crab cake, and this is one of the few menu items that is an upcharge. So this was an extra five dollars. So that better be a darn good crab cake right there. Well, it's, it's got some pretty good girth to it. It does. What did you get? I got the pan seared scallops sitting on a bed of pork belly with some uh, some sauce on top. That looks very yeah, interesting. That looks really really good. And Joey, what kind of soup is that? Clam chowder. Oh, okay, cool. Clam chowder. And this is the yeah. ahi tuna with the avocado tower. It looks so pretty. It looks it like watermelon. Pretty. Is what it looks it like. It looks like watermelon, and it is raw That's tuna. Raw. It's raw tuna. It is raw tuna. Mmm. We have the blazing shrimp. And y'all both have the blazing shrimp. We both have the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It looks really good though. Okay. All right. So I have had lots of crab cake recently. So I got one when I was in Biloxi. And then I had crab cake in New Orleans. Right. So let's see how this one compares. And that one crab cake at Mr. Ed's 
was I know. crazy good. This is good crab cake. Is it better than the one in New Orleans? No, but it is good. I didn't think so. Okay. It's hard to beat seafood in New Orleans. So, okay. But it's On a scale good. of one to 10, crab cake. I give it a solid eight. It's really good. Solid eight. Right. Yeah. Sweet. How's your, did you try your tuna yet? I got a perfect bite. I got some ahi tuna with some of the avocado tower. Okay. And um, when I taste it, it, the ahi tuna doesn't taste raw. It tastes like it's got a little bit of acidity on it. Okay. And so it's very, very tasty. All right. She's got a perfect bite. So she knows what she's doing. She's <laughs> built the perfect bite. Cool. I've watched enough to place it and I was yeah. You got to build the perfect build bite. The perfect yeah. Bite. We got the uh, blazing shrimp. Blazing, blazing shrimp. shrimp, yeah. It's 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 pretty good. Um, it's got a little bit of coleslaw underneath it. It's like a, a spicy mayo kind of sauce on it. Okay. If you don't mind a little bit of spice, it's not too bad. It's a big portion. It is it a big is. portion. A lot bigger than I thought for an appetizer. All right. I mean, that looks almost like entree size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna try some uh, so, light with the avocado. Mm. Mm. That's re actually really good. Is it? It's refreshing. Very tasty. Real refreshing tasting. All right now, the scallops. The scallops are a texture. Wow, look at the scallops. They're real soft. Usually they got more of a snap on the outside. They grill a little, grill, a little bit harder. Yeah. So they're a little bit smushier for my, for my life. I think they need to be grilled a little harder. Um, pork belly, tasty. it's tasty, and that sweet sauce <coughs> kind of complements it real good. All in all, it's pretty good. Yeah. How's the clam chowder? It's good. Reagan would approve. My little she would. Loves clam chowder. Do you want to try the ice? You can tell the difference. And I've had some good scallops. No. no. It's crab cake. Just try one bite. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you have to try one bite. Thank you. What does that look for? It's, it's good. It's good. Very good. But it, it's not Mr. Ed's good. No, it's not as good as that. But it's good. But it is, yeah. It's, good. it's got it's got good flavor. Yeah. Jason passed on dessert to get two appetizers. This is like basically dessert to me. And I mean, pork is always delicious. Animal, keto. So what's not to like? So let's give that a try. Oh, mm -hmm. that does look good. Mm -hmm. That's good presentation. Too. It's very delicious. It's got a lot of flavor. Um, it's got that. What was it? What was it, guys? What was it called? The Thai. It was like a Thai sweet sauce on it. Oh yeah. Peanut sauce. It's really good. Yeah, it's very flavorful. It's really sweet. So. And the ribs are very tender. I don't like scallops. Michelle's got the prettiest wedge salad I've ever seen. That is just that's a wedge. It's cute, and I'm about to drizzle some balsamic vinaigrette over it. You want to try one? Yeah, usually when you get a wedge, they do not look that good. They one? barely have anything yeah, on them. It's usually it's just a wedge. a wedge. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, it's, um... The food has arrived. And look, all of our side dishes are in these little pots. What did you get, Joey? Chicken corn and blue. <laughs> You'll get trouble. I didn't even see that on the menu. I did. And though we're in a seafood restaurant, I basically did a surf and turf for my appetizer of yahi tuna and the avocado tower. I did the filet mignon for my main entree. That's a big filet. It's a very large filet. It's an eight ounce. That looks good. And I have the halibut. And my sides are potatoes au gratin and steamed broccoli. And what's the fish? The snapper? That's yeah. the fish of the day. Yeah, so that's what that's you've what got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and scallops <clears throat> and shrimp and yep. something else. There was four. Ooh. Scallop, um, shrimp. Oh, calamari. Calamari. Yeah. Mm. It looks good. It's a big old good. plate of fried goodness We're probably there. Not gonna eat all of it. Oh, oh no. I got a fluffy little pillow of meat. Look, look, literally. Look at this. <laughs> It's perfectly cooked. You missed my first bite. Perfectly cooked. Cream spinach, agron potatoes. So let's give it a quick bite. Melt. Melt. 
Good. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And Michelle's got that too. I do. I do. It's very good. <laughs> So All right, so I've been proven wrong. Steak at a seafood restaurant is good. Very delicious. And Joey, you got the chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, chicken cordon bleu. He's pouring the, uh, some kind of sauce on there now. Yeah, it's like a honey mustard sauce. It's like a light quarter? And that's uh, Brussels sprouts and uh, asparagus. Yeah, it looks like that's a bone there. Yeah. I guess it is. Maybe. Oh, I'm really curious yeah. about this because I love chicken corn on wood and haven't had it in a very long time. So I need to get your uh, take on this. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's really crispy. Mm -hmm. The crust is the best part. I think there's only ham in there. I didn't get any ham in that bite. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll have ham and cheese. It is good, though. Cool. And this is not very mustardy. It's a honey mustard sauce, but it's a little buttery. Cool. How's the uh, it's very the good. platter? Was it called the fisherman's? It was a fish, fisherman's platter. Yeah, fisherman's, fisherman's platter. platter. And you can get your you can get your uh, your fish in a grilled or fried. Grilled so, or fried. Of course, we're from Louisiana. We got it fried. Of course, you did. So, oh, <coughs> I had the uh, stuff. One of the sea scouts. Those are great. Are they? Yeah, they was actually better than the appetizer. So the fried scallop. I've never had mm -hmm. fried scallops. So they're good fried. Oh yeah. I've never yeah. had a Interesting. And they were, they, like Jason was talking earlier with the other scouts, not having, they didn't have a steak. When you do them grilled like that, when you expect They usually the have a sear on it. Yeah, yeah. It's got a sear on it, but it's got a little bit of a tougher texture. These have that. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Cool. So that's pretty good. All right. So you are going in for your health, right? Oh, yeah. That's the kind of fish I like. Just light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's like a, falls a, a apart. perfect little square of fish. It is. On your it's easy to cut. We got a little bit of like a lemon butter sauce. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Ooh. That's really good. Well, she's, you said that fast, so I know you like it. It's good. All right. So, what about your, you're going to eat your tomato, your grilled tomato? But let's try it. Try so, now, what is it? What are your sides? Potatoes are rotten and steamed broccoli. You're not gonna like that. That's hot, hold on. No, it's calamari. What do you like calamari? I know you like potatoes. She's like the potato queen. She, she could. She said if she was stranded on an island, the one thing she would want was I potatoes. Off potatoes. I said eggs. Them. You can fry them. You I want can, eggs. You know. Um. Yeah, that's the potatoes are rotten, it's just okay. The halibut's really good, but the potatoes are rotten, it's just okay. I mean, that's just rock, 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 rock. Right. right. So what was your overall opinion of Ocean Blue? Um, I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it was good. It was good. I mean, was I blown away? No, not by any stretch. But it was, it's, it's decent food, you know. We'll go together. It's what it is. Would you eat here again? Okay. Um, probably not. No. Really? Yeah. I think I would try something else. Not one of your favorites, then? No. Okay. Opinion. It was, it was, okay. it was good. I mean, uh, kind of hit and miss on the, uh, on the flavors and stuff. I was, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't research the menu before we came here, so yeah, I didn't either. We were going to the seafood place. I want some damn crab legs, you know. Oh. And I ended up getting fried fish. We're from Louisiana. I eat fried fish every day. Yeah. But I mean, the other stuff that we got, the scallops and all that stuff, was really good. I enjoyed that. Uh, I did, the food was not bad at all. I just wish that no, the. It's not bad. I think the variety was uh, a little, little uh, underwhelming. Yeah, not what you're expecting, yeah, huh? Not what I was expecting. It's always a problem when you have better. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of drinks. So Joe, you like yours? Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, I, I go with what I know though. I mean, chicken corn blue and soup. I mean, I didn't get crazy on the news. So, all right. So, what did you think about it? I thought it was good. Not my favorite of the specialty dining restaurants. Okay. We've been wanting to eat here for a while. It actually used to be an upcharge, and now they just upcharge certain things on the menu. Yeah. So my crab cake was an upcharge. Um, do I think it was worth the upcharge? No, it was a good crab cake, but 
considering we just left New Orleans and I had crab cake there. It's hard to be. It's not a fair, not a fair deal. I know, but I'm just being honest. Yeah. Um, my food was good. I mean, I have nothing to complain about. But comparing this experience to say La Bistro that we need now, I know La Bistro is, is excellent. Um, I know that Onda is really excellent. So Ocean Blue is good, but I'm not in my top three. What do you think? As a first time Norwegian passenger, I can tell you that Ocean Blue is one of my top favorites as well as the Bistro. Oh, yeah. I really truly enjoy the Akituna avocado taco and the mignon. So would you say that you pick you pick the right things? Did you pick the right things on the menu for me? For you, and it, and, and it worked. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. Good. Yeah. April. Mine was good. I'm not a fan of calamari. So yeah. Me neither. But it was good. It was good. It was good. Tasted okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Well, there you go. Would you guys eat here again? Absolutely. Yeah. I would. I would eat here again. Yeah. Yes. I would definitely eat here. All right. There you go, and there you have it. Dessert's coming. Holy smackaroonie. What is that thing? That is a chocolate ganache. Oh my. Juice no, wait. Cake. They should rename it the Oh My Gosh, Chocolate Oh My Gosh. But honestly, I was more Oh My Gosh about April. <laughs> about April. Look at that. that no, that, no that's, that's more Oh My God. Yes. That looks delicious. Oh. Now see, I'm regretting my yeah, order. This thing, I really love the presentation. I do too. It's like a it's little, very little, little, little jar. Yeah, it's yeah. cheesecake in a jar. Cut into that bad boy, and what is it? That's it's popcorn. Covered in, yeah, this it's is covered popcorn. in ganache. Oh. Oh my ganache. Oh my. Little bit of the gelato. If we wanted to walk, how fast? Perfect bite. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't wait to see your facial expressions. Oh. Is it? I have to think about this. Uh oh. Okay, wait a minute. This is interesting. This might not be good. I just have to think about it. The caramel corn is what's throwing it off. So let me try it again without the caramel corn. Perfect bite without the caramel corn. Maybe, maybe our first bite was imperfect. <laughs> That's good. That's better. So, so you don't like the saltiness or whatever it Not is? Not together in the same bite. So maybe okay. eat a bite of that. Maybe leave that. That. Maybe just kick that off to the side and yeah. leave that as a garnish or uh, whatever. What do you think, Joey? Just yeah, I like the what is it? The gelato, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, you digging it? And when you mix them together, yeah, it's super cold. Yeah. I'm trying to build you a perfect bite. Okay. Oh look, I have a perfect bite. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a perfect bite of April dessert too. So this is the raspberry cheesecake in a jar. Oh! She regrets her order. No questions there. That's better. Oh, I knew it immediately. Yeah. I know those that facial expressions. Yeah. Okay, so did you just have... Not quite. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, but you, is it a little tickle? <laughs> but no, this is good. Yes. This is interesting. It's got a, I mean, it's chocolate, but it's so many different layers and flavors. Because you've got mousse, ganache, and gelato. So it's good. But that, that's just this me. Is really that's better. April wins. When I saw that come out, yeah, hands down. This is been, we saw that come out and I went, oh, oh my, my God. Yeah, Both of us. Y'all said, said it at the same time. Yes. We did. We said it at the same time, and I don't even eat desserts. I didn't get excited about my plate, but we got real excited for April's plate. <laughs> but yeah, this is good. That's better.
All right, so we got Jeff Lund of Foreigner Tribute Band, along with Paul and AJ, and they're gonna do their first duck farts together. So here we go, over the lips, through the gums, look out stomach, here it comes, oh yeah. Yeah! That's so, surprisingly tasty. That's what everybody says. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate you. Lock on, dude. Tell NCL you love us. We'll do. It's like chocolate milk. Yeah. You like it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the Bailey's. The Bailey's makes mm -hmm. it yeah. chocolate. Oh, it's smooth. It, it, just, it doesn't bite oh, yeah, on the back end. Usually, nice. usually Crown Royal have that little bit of kick to it, and it just smooths it, it right out. They balance each other out. It just slides right down. a fourth generation of a cellar master. All right, it's a 1200 Woody Bui. Woody Bui is a great. All right. Do you have any idea how much the empty bottle of the... $5,000. No, that's the who? Empty one. How much the empty? $1,200. $500 to $800. Right. $500 just for the empty bottle. It's a bottle. $5,000 for the full. This wow. is a baccarat crystal, yeah? So okay, that's a one ounce, right? Yeah. I put just some extra, right? Alright. Maybe we should give him two more chickens less, alright? Okay, so that's one shot. That shot cost how much? $130 plus a 40% discount because I, I got the premium plus package. I didn't realize it cost that much. He asked me if I ever had it and I said no, why don't you go get one? <laughs> so sip, sip. To E U C C and Nick. Cheers. 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 Well, Ryan's up. Pinky's out. Yeah, you're all Sips. Sips. Yes, small sips. How's your face? No water. No water, right? Why aren't you yeah. dancing, Nick? That's awesome. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> that from here. I can literally smell it from here. Oh yes I did. It's not every day we get a hundred and thirty dollar shot. That was amazing. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate you, brother. That was probably the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Like, as far as alcohol. That was cool. Yeah. Don't get me started.